Hello and welcome to Imperial College London. Welcome to this introduction to fire safety presentation. I am John Field, Fire Safety Manager for Imperial College London. The information you're about to receive is what to do in the event of a fire. So please sit back, relax and pay attention because it may just save your life. Meet the fire safety team. We have the head of fire safety, who is Sean Fanning. Myself, the fire safety manager, John Field. We have Jonathan Ryan, who is a fire safety advisor. And Steve Walker, who is also a fire safety advisor. The mission of the college fire safety department is to promote fire safety awareness prevent fires from occurring in the first instance and to protect all persons on Imperial College premises from harm in the event of a fire. We take your safety seriously, so please now pay attention to the next video. Hello undergraduates of Imperial College London and welcome to what we hope will be a quick and painless fire safety video. You're now part of a one-of-a-kind university focusing exclusively on science, engineering, medicine and business. So we know you're a clever lot and you can handle what we're about to tell you. But if you haven't figured it out already, we're in London and Imperial has a lot of different buildings. You'll each spend your time in different places of Imperial and it's your job to know the relevant exits and evacuation points. Wondering how you find that out? We're here to show you. Focus for the next few minutes as we cover some important fire safety info to ensure that your time here is flame free and enjoyable. First things first, in case of an emergency, you can stay calm thanks to these legends. Our security team here work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They work with our control room staff, also legends, who patrol the site and respond to emergencies. Obviously they can't be everywhere at once, so our buildings are all fitted with an automatic detection system, letting the control room know when there might be an issue. However, if you spot flames, smoke or something of concern, don't wait for the detection system to pick it up. Breaking a red glass cool point will sound an alarm throughout your building and trigger a total building evacuation. Be aware each building's fire alarm system operates independently. And breaking a green glass call point will unlock all the electronic doors. What is it? It's a sixth floor call point in chemistry. Oh, there you go. These are our first responders. When an alarm goes off, they'll be there to quickly investigate and ensure that small incidents don't lead to a full building evacuation. For example, someone accidentally hitting the call point instead of the exit door button. We don't want to cause any inconvenience unless we absolutely have to. But if a first responder sees that there is a major issue afoot, they can radio security in seconds to start the necessary evacuation procedure. Sometimes we might need your help to alert our first responders to a potential situation. If you see smoke, even if it appears to be coming from a contained area, act fast. As soon as you suspect there may be a fire, address it. One minute it might be a small fire in the bin. The next, it might not just be in the bin anymore. If you discover a fire, remain calm. Shout fire, fire, fire! And activate the red brake glass alarm. Security will respond to the building to assist. If there's a fire extinguisher nearby, only use it if you've been trained. And you're not putting yourself in any danger. Above all, please remember, at the first sign of smoke or fire, use the call point to sound the alarm and evacuate. Security will call 999 if required. If you hear the fire alarm, remain calm. Leave what you're working on straight away. Don't worry, it will be here when you come back. Now, where are your nearest escape routes? This is crucial information you must memorise for the buildings you visit most at Imperial. Remember, these may differ from your usual entry to the building. Our escape signs will show you. And if in doubt, look for your designated fire warden and ask them for help. By the way, 
fire door should be kept clear and never propped open. These are designed to stop the spread of the fire and guarantee protection for up to 30 minutes. The lifts don't work during the fire alarm. So if you're already in one when the alarm sounds, the lift will take you to safety before deactivating. For everyone else, we'll take the stairs. If you require assistance to evacuate due to mobility or access needs, please ask to produce a personal emergency evacuation plan for you. In the event of an alarm, please make your way towards your nearest refuge point. Please remember where your nearest refuge point is. Hi, I'm at Princess Garden, Mezzanine Neville. There is no need to panic if you can't evacuate like others do. Security have copies of all peeps and the emergency response team will be on hand to assist you. Once you've made your way through the fire exit route, you'll find yourself in the great outdoors. But we're not done just yet. Everyone is to meet at the fire assembly point. Make sure you know where yours is. When you get there, report to your fire warden and stay put until the fire wardens can give the next instruction. Imperial is a big place and there are lots of different fire exits. Everyone's an adult here, so it's up to you to remember what you need to do in an emergency. These are the key questions to remember. Where are my nearest fire exits? Where is my assembly point? And that's all there is to it. Stay calm, stay safe and stay sensible. Remember these things and come back to this video at any time if you need a refresher. And remember, you are now part of Imperial. A global top 10 university in the heart of one of the most exciting cities in the world. Cheers for watching. Before you evacuate, if safe to do so, leave items in a safe condition. Where possible, isolate machines and shut off gas valves. Whenever you enter a room, make sure you familiarise yourself with the location of the nearest safe exit. It's human nature for people to want to leave the building the same way that they entered. This can create bottlenecks, people ignoring alternative exits, which would have got them out of the building quicker. Recently, we had an incident where a hundred students were stuck on the stairs in a bottleneck because the students at the front of the queue refused to leave the building because it was raining. And this was whilst the fire alarm was actuating. Please be sensible, act in a cool, calm, controlled manner leave the building via the nearest safe exit and make your way to the fire assembly point for that building. Here you will be informed of whether it's safe to go back into the building or whether you have to move further away from the building. COVID-19. In order to maintain social distancing whilst the fire alarm is actuating, there is no need to follow the one-way system. Please leave by the nearest safe exit. If it is safe to do so, then socially distance from the person in front. Follow the directions of the fire wardens and ensure you maintain social distancing whilst at the fire assembly point. Fires do happen. One occurred during one of our outreach programmes sessions in a lab. A student pulled the Bunsen burner hose from the gas tap. The Bunsen burner ignited the gas, creating a flamethrower. The quick thinking lecturer shut off the gas valve. Please remember, press the red brake glass in the event of a fire. Press the green brake glass if the doors to the exit fail to release whilst the fire alarm is actuating. When on college premises during any type of emergency, including a medical emergency, contact the Imperial College security team. 
internally on four, 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 or externally on zero, two, zero, seven, five, eight, nine, one thousand. Do not call nine, nine, nine. 